In-place pipe restoration permits complete rehabilitation of pipes, whether underground, between structural walls and floors, or within marine vessel bulkheads, at a fraction of the cost of pipe replacement. Corrosion after only 10 years of pipe use, combined with fur accumulation, can reduce pipe flow capacity by 30%. Within 15 years, pipes lose up to half of their flow capacity and nearly 70% after 20 years. Removal and replacement of deteriorated pipes involves great expense, not only for materials and labor, but in terms of immense inconvenience to building tenants and even some environmental issues may further escalate costs. Liability arising from the leaching of potentially harmful metals such as copper, lead, iron, and zinc into the water supply may result when health hazard issues are raised by tenants. Even asbestos has been found in water systems using composite piping, a potential hazard of unknown proportion. The American Pipelining in-place pipe restoration method is a practical, safe, and simple process that does not significantly interfere with building tenant activity and can be accomplished in a brief span of time. From homes to major factories, office buildings to aircraft carriers, this revolutionary pipe restoration method is the high-tech way to cost management. Anywhere water is carried by pipes, whether copper, copper nickel, iron, or concrete, the ideal method for cleaning and rehabilitating pipelines is the American pipelining method. The cost-effective American pipelining method assures longer life and affords greater overall value to any water distribution system. The American pipelining method of in-place pipe restoration involves six steps. Trained technicians inspect water samples, testing for toxic material, and evaluate the impact of the restoration process on the tenants and the public. An ultrasonic device is employed to determine system integrity by measuring pipe wall thickness and identifying sections of pipe that require replacement if necessary. The pipe network is then thoroughly dried as compressed air is forced into the system at each fixture. This hot, dry, compressed air gradually evaporates all moisture retained in corrosion products inside the pipes. Compressed air is injected into the pipe system for a system integrity check to ensure there are no air leaks and that the fittings and pipes withstand the pressure. Once dry, a hard residue is left on the pipe interior walls. This is removed by introducing an abrading agent, garnet grit, into the airstream. In measured amounts, the grit attacks the dried corrosive material, and the constant bombardment breaks loose all residue from the pipe walls, which is carried away by the airflow. The inner walls of the pipe are left with a white metal abraded surface, achieved without the use of mechanical devices. The compressed air distributed through the pipe system exits at a central point. Two stages of dust collecting and filtering removes all solids and microscopic particles in the airstream. None of the material is permitted to escape into the atmosphere. The in-place pipe restoration is completely safe and environmental protection is assured. Following visual inspection of the pipe system, hoses are reconnected, and the pipe system is heated to a predetermined temperature, ensuring that all moisture and dust has been removed. A liquid epoxy coating is mixed and introduced into the pipe system in measured quantities. Spread by a carefully controlled compressed air flow rate, total coverage of all interior pipe surfaces is assured, including fittings, branches, and joints. Hot, dry air at a low flow rate accelerates the hardening process. When completed, an inspection reveals a smooth, lined surface with no pinholes. A gauge is used to measure actual paint thickness. The water distribution system is then reassembled, and once restored to operating condition, a hydro test ensures leak-free operation.